what's good water tribe how are you guys doing on this lucky saturday i don't know why i failed to say that and now i see somebody out here walking with some with a green shirt on so you may be about to get some sort of money or something about you might hit the lottery i'm also seeing like a great car here you might be about to get a great car but this is going to be a reading about the hidden truth regarding somebody that you dealt with you used to deal with that you're dealing with this could even be speaking to you and who you are to the energy how they resonate don't talk about my ashy ass hands mind your business i just got out the show okay okay <laughs> i have i look for you everywhere hmm. so i'm getting to it's like music you you and somebody was in some sort of connection or is or whatever and y'all may have listened to a lot of music together or music may be very prevalent in this person's life and i feel like uh, like a lot of music is playing around in this person's life and is reminding them of you i look for you everywhere i'm getting to somebody be trying to look their best self all the time just in case they run into you in somewhere i'm picking up on the energy of like new york i just heard new zealand india Take the energy how it resonates. This could be somewhere that you guys travel or was planning on traveling to. Or this could be somewhere you planning on traveling to. I got, I left you, you before you could leave me. So I'm getting like, this person was very petty. Something about their emotions here. I wish I had treated you better. Yeah, I, I pick up like, this person was definitely very petty here. I got I loved you unconditionally at the bottom of the deck. That just showed up at the bottom on earth sign. So you could have been dealing with an earth sign. I got just being near you is intoxicating. So I definitely feel like little do you know you kind of had this person wrapped around um your finger. And then I got I knew exactly what I was doing. So I feel like it's like somebody didn't expect you to love them the way you did. And I feel like you were very loving to them. Actually very loving and liberating. Something about your strength and love. Your strength is loving. Or this person saw you as very strong because you were vulnerable. I, I feel like this person wasn't vulnerable they were afraid to tell you how they really felt here. But something about your energy here is very divine and liberating. You could be an empath. I just get like you're somebody who cares a lot. You could have even prayed for this person to change. Or you could have just been praying for this person's demons. Like you were doing things for this person that they don't even know. This person could have even told you, like, some stuff that went on in their childhood or something like that. And you just prayed that they be liberated from that pain. They started feeling the effects, but it scared them because it was it was something new. You know how when you do something new, it's kind of nerve-wracking. Like, your first time or um, just anything. Anything you about to do that you've never done before is it's, kind of nerve-wracking. You feel me? You could have even gave your virginity to this person. And when it says that just being near you is intoxicating, I feel like it's because you love the fuck out of this person. And little do you know, they actually love you too. They do, whether they admit it or not. And then I got, I regret lying to you. So this person could have definitely lied to you about something, lied to you about a lot. They definitely lied about their emotions. I feel too... Like, you and this person probably never even told each other that y'all love each other. Or if it was, it was like through a text message or, or it was like, on some shit was like, you probably walked away from this person and they finally had to admit it, but it wasn't good enough for you. I'm hearing like a secret exposed. This person could even be dreaming about you. This Queen of Cups is a cancer pisces or scorpio and this is also um water energy here so you could have been dealing with the water sign i know i'm doing this reading for a water sign 
I feel like you're something about being in touch with your soul or being in touch with their souls. Something about y'all souls connected. I'm also hearing like soul ties. I'm hearing karmic lessons. So there was something that you were supposed to learn from this person. Something that you kept repeating yourself doing with different people. Now, I'm not saying this isn't your soulmate. I'm not saying that. What I am saying, though, is we meet people and we, you know, get into relations with people to learn lessons. So I definitely feel here somebody has learned a lesson here. If not one of you, both of you have. It's regarding love. I'm also getting to when it comes to loving yourself. Emotional, uh, emotional fulfillment within oneself is very prevalent here. You definitely, somebody definitely walked away from somebody because they weren't getting enough. It's like they were giving, 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 and, and the other person was just taking, taking, taking. What else, Spirit? I left you before you could leave me. Hmm. That's petty and childish. So I feel like this person was definitely very petty and childish. They had a lot of growing up to do. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on. That's better. Because I'm trying to be able to see the words. <laughs> and then I got the page of wands here. And this person is throwing this stick in the air. So I'm just getting, like, very happy vibes here. You could have found your happiness. Or you and this person could have had a lot of fun together. I actually want to look that up and see what it means. Give me a second. I guess I'm still learning. Page of Wands. You are inclined to give anything and, and everything a go. Yeah, I feel like you definitely gave this person a chance despite knowing their background history and what they've been through. This could have even been somebody who you knew for a while and you knew they was kind of a whole or whatever, but you feel like you can change them. Yeah, we all we all have those um, days. And the crazy part is you actually, I'm not going to say you changed them, but you invoked something in them to change. You embrace the opportunity to start out a new journey or a project. So I definitely feel like you're a very open person here. I'm, I'm hearing open to love. I feel like you're going to get your justice regarding love. Whether it be with this person or with somebody else. Or this person is going through it because of the way they treat you. I feel like I'm speaking to somebody who has really powerful ancestors. Or you're highly protected. And it's because you're such a good person that you are highly protected. Like, you don't deserve the shit that people put you through. But it was some of this stuff was in order for you to learn, for you to change your perspective on love and learn that, you know, you got to learn how to love yourself authentically before you could just pour all into loving on somebody else here. What else, Spirit? You could definitely be a high priestess. I feel like, too, you know how to keep secrets very well. Yeah, I feel like this person was definitely very cold-hearted here. They, they they were very logic based. I also too feel like this person was selfish. It's like this person could have had money or whatever, but they didn't offer you anything. Let's just say you were going to go see this person. They never offered you ten dollars to put in your gas tank, but they always called you when they needed something. This person used to try to bait you into buying shit and saying they're gonna pay you back. And probably felt some type of way when you cashed out them when you sent them that cash out request, like, yeah, I need that. Or this could have been the type of person they is. I don't know. Like, And then I got the four of wands here. So I definitely feel like you're about to celebrate something. I feel like you're celebrating you. I'm also hearing harvest season. I feel like you're celebrating. I also too feel like your angels and your spirit guides are celebrating you. I feel like you're about to get some sort of abundance. This could be pertaining to business that you're about to start or this could be pertaining to the fact that you walked away to find your happiness so a lot of things are about to fall into place for you i need one more card before i leave i'm here and go yeah you definitely left or you embraced the fact that this person left you i also too feel like this person's energy was very addicting it was like i'm hearing a sad addiction this person could also have had addictions but i definitely feel like like 
this person's energy was very addicting to you and something about after y'all having sex it'll put you in the mindset of thinking you could even, even thought that this person was gonna bring you a, a, a stds like i feel like this person could have been very promiscuous here give me one more card spirit okay that's it yeah i got the king of um the king of wands here the king of wands is somebody who 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 is in and out of your life they there for a good time not a long time I definitely feel like with this fire here, the original King of Wands, it's like they got their dick in their hand. It's like they always ready for a good time, but they don't have no emotions. And I feel like this person come in very fast and a leave fast. It's like they come and they go, they come and they go. But I definitely feel like you found yourself here. You liberated yourself. You you used that healing energy to turn it to inward to help you and you're definitely about to get some sort of justice when it comes to love you're definitely about to celebrate something something or someone is going to make you very happy now this could be a king of pentacles here coming into your life to offer you something stable structure this person is very wise here they could be a little bit older than you they may even have a pet that look like this pet or you may have this pet. I feel like this person is also going to offer you not only a cup of love, but they're going to offer you a lot. You and this person may even take some sort of trip together. I'm here and say yes. I'm here and say yes. Don't be afraid of this love. I feel like this is definitely going to catch you off guard. Because you now you're comfortable alone. Like you could be single for a while. This could have happened a while ago. But you're definitely going to get some sort of justice. And the hidden truth is that this person actually did love you. This person that walked away from you or you walked away from. It's just that they weren't ready for you. They weren't ready for your energy. They wasn't ready for that potency. That or Like you got a, a, a big aura. Like they weren't ready for love. They weren't ready for unconditional love. All they was ready for is a fuck. They got that. You walked away. Either they walked away. And that's it. Ain't no coming back from that. You learned your lesson and you have moved on. And I'm very proud of you for that, Water Signs. I love you guys. I really do. And I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your guys' day. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Look in the description box. I do have two pages. Give the video a like. And I'll see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye. I know I'm ashy. Don't talk about me. <laughs>